Hello everyone and welcome to part 29 of my Fire Emblem Guide in Iron Man. Part 29 I am hoping is the final part of uh, Celica's army, or yeah, Celica's path. Um, as long as I'm able to get S, because in Celica's army you enter Doma's tower with like this many units, but you know, each floor you go up, there's less that you can use. Absolutely not. Okay. I'm gonna give Katria 21 speed. Cause 21 speed, I'm pretty sure, will let her double almost every enemy in the game. Okay. And just in time. So there are some slayers that... Oh, I don't even have Vilebar in this map. I just have six units. Man, this is the downside of... I thought there would be a prom like a spot for S to promote in this map, but... So far, that doesn't look to be the case. Where's Katria? There you go. Because now Katria doubles the Slayers, but... You know, she just has the Angel Ring. So her attack... Power. I mean, her attack is still high, but she's not doing a bunch of damage. And then Dean already can double uh, Dread Fighters. Because she has the steel shield. attacking Saber because they do the most damage to him and he doesn't double. This whole map is, is on indoor tile, or, isn't it? And then they're attacking Dean because again, it's just who you do the most damage to. his critical hit, he wasn't able to finish that one off. Level up. 
Also a bad level up. Probably should have given that kill to, uh... Bean. Oh, this is a level high, five, uh, Baron. He's taking damage from absolutely nothing. He has to have 20 defense. Oh, the Slayer's at least level 1, but the but they made the Baron be level 5. That was a nice critical. Yeah, because I don't remember the Doma Tower maps in Gaiden very well. I just know that there's... You know, three of them. I think it's three, and as you go through them, you get less units. I'd rather kill the Slayer, because the only person who's going to be able to really damage the High Knight is Celica. Anyone else who tries is just, you know, wasting their time. One exception to this rule of anyone else who tries is wasting their time, and that's the Pegasus Sisters because of the triangle attack, which always does at minimum 15 damage. And then they double with it, so it's 30 damage. You also have to hit. Again, is garbage. Oh, but it's the only bonus, I guess, here. Just gonna give it all to Katria. Essentially, like, plus three hit and plus one critical or something like that. Okay. Yeah, because these maps here are, like, why the Pegasus Sisters are just the best units to have, because... You know, you're, you're getting less and less units as you climb this tower, and your best way of fighting these enemies is with flying units. 
Like, it's honestly no wonder they give you the Pegasus Trio on Helica's route, because it's just... Her entire army, like, is just hard carried by the Pegasus Sisters. They're just so good. That's good. Because Katria just eliminates this thing. Almost kills it in one hit. That's how strong she is. But imagine you're somebody like who doesn't know that you're doing this part of the game, and you set your order because it picks off the characters on the top of the order to have like Bowie and May or Silk if she's not, or Jenny if she's not promoted for this map. Like you're just asking for trouble. another shrine that they're, they're shared with. Okay. This is just silly. to have Dean on this map than, uh, Celica. Yeah, I didn't remember that skill, uh, you know, seal being- oh my god. Eight. Eight times two. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm hoping that because if Selka doesn't attack, can't counterattack, she can't get doubled. That's fine. Because the other dragon zombie is going to attack S. And I'm not sure if there's a space that S can... Yeah, no, she'll be able to run away. I think she barely survives. Yeah. that far now. Because I think he does double, uh, Paula, no. Paula just had enough speed to avoid being doubled. Okay. I was really hoping there would have been, uh, uh, the ability for me to promote S. Because if she was promoted, like, she would have been able to do more. But I was, you know, based on the rules of the run, like I said, she didn't make it. I mean, her stats are still good, it's just that she, you know, doesn't have, uh... She just 
doesn't have uh good HP and defense when compared to her sister. Her sisters, I should say. Okay. Almost done. Yeah. I, th I honestly think that if it wasn't for Celica's route being as poorly designed as it is, like, it would, it would make Gaiden, like, a much, much better game. It's just the primary problem is just, you know, the, the, her, her route is a nightmare to slog through. You know, unless you have all the Pegasus sisters trained up. So I think I can... Triangle attack. And I don't know why I haven't tried to. Okay, that's why. Hopefully this just kills the Bow Knight, though. Yeah. Alright. And now we're at the top floor. Oh, there's, I guess, one more battle. I'm gonna give all the defense to Celica. Like, I don't know what this is between, but I'm just giving it all to Celica, because... Yeah, I don't, you know, I just don't want her to die and end the Iron Man. Okay, yeah, that's all it does. Okay. And with that, Celica's route is done, and it's just Alm's route left to finish the game, so how am I on time? Alright, the previous video is going to end up having been a really long part, so this is just going to be a really short part. I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, so that was the end of Salika's route. Thankfully, I think at the end of the day, she, her armies who I lost more units from, and again, that just goes back to Katria missing with the Javelin. And me giving her a javelin, because if that didn't happen, then I would have had more units for her. Not that any of them would have done anything except for Noma and uh, Atlas. And I guess Leon would have helped too. Alright, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.